this video, I'm gonna show you how to play the Mike Portnoy drum fill. We all know this drum fill because Mike Portnoy pretty much coined this linear drumming fill. And there's a bunch of different ways to play it, not just the hand over feet thing. I'm gonna show you a few different ways to apply that to the drum set. So it doesn't just sound like you're going between your hands and your feet all the time. Let's get into it. For the first one, let's count to six. Yes, it's after five. Speed that up a little bit. Right, so that's pretty one dimensional. Now we can carry it over to the toms in no particular order. I want you to explore yourself to see what kind of sounds you can come with, up with. Just keep in mind that we wanna take the six or take whatever number you please, whether it's an odd number like seven or nine, and just try doing it on different surfaces. So a six can sound like this. Now getting that up to speed is obviously gonna take some practice, but it's pretty cool. You can add quite a few different variations in your drumming. Instead of being focused on playing this alternating linear pattern between the snare drum and the kick, try taking that six and displacing it between the ride, the snare, and your kick drum. Let's speed that up. That's when things get really cool. Instead of trying an even number like six, let's try adding, let's say seven. Four with our hands, three with our feet. Right, it could get pretty interesting. So when you start adding all these patterns together, you're gonna end up with some really interesting stuff. If you write these down on a sheet of paper, you can come up with some pretty wacky ideas and really confuse the rest of your bandmates. So let's do something like four, four, and then six. Now you can actually start to hear where that Mike Portnoy saying comes from. So let's move it around the toms and the rest of the drum kit, see what we can actually come up with. Pretty cool, pretty cliche, but you can add that with a cool drum beat going in and out of a groove. You don't always have to lead with your right hand. You can come up with some even more interesting drum fills if you go on the rack tom starting with your left. It kind of gives like a weird syncopated feel. Right, so then it takes that pretty straightforward linear feel and kind of gives it a different feel and groove all around. So if you just go Right, it wants to drive forward, but if you do something like reversing the lead hand, it's gonna sound a little more interesting. Try mixing that up between the two. Right, so let's speed things up, see what we can come up with. Remember, a fill doesn't
doesn't necessarily mean you're going between the snare and around the toms. You can include your accent cymbals if you've got a splash or a stack or something like that. You can make some pretty cool stuff. So let me show you a little bit of that. So as you can see, it can get pretty interesting the more accents you add into it. If you guys are interested in learning this deeper, again, sign up below to the waitlist. And there's also a free metal drumming download guide in the description below. So just follow that and I'll send it directly to your email. Don't worry, I won't spam your email with unnecessary updates. But if you want to learn more drum lessons and stuff, then I highly suggest signing up for my email list. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.